Well, a U.S. Department of Justice investigation found that Alabama is discriminating against students with disabilities who are in the state foster care system. And now a group of attorneys is suing Alabama's Department of Human Resources and Department of Education, citing those practices. Now, the DOJ's investigation released last October found that students in specialized treatment centers were not evaluated, that policies actually hindered their development, and that discipline practices in the centers further traumatized some students. News 19 Chief Investigative Reporter Brian Lawson joining us now in the studio. And Brian, how many kids are thought to be affected? Right, a lawyer I spoke to today said it could be as many as 5,000 current and former students. The DOJ said in 2020 there were about 1,000 kids who had been transferred by DHR into these facilities. Attorney Caleb Cunningham said they filed six lawsuits on behalf of students. The DOJ reported this in October of last year, and even at that time, the state was aware of their failure, were aware that they were not compliant with the American with Disabilities Act, and as far as we can tell, have made no efforts to rectify this or to stop uh, failing to educate these children. They're being warehoused in rooms, uh, and multiple grades are being given a coloring book for their education time. I think it's made even more heinous and disgusting that this is done by for-profit companies, that the state is using your tax dollars and my tax dollars to fund. Now, looking at the lawsuit, it is alleging that five companies and roughly 12 facilities are captured in these contracts with the state of Alabama. The DOJ found unequal education opportunities for students in residential care facilities, and the investigation found the vast majority could have been served in more integrated, regular school settings. Now, News 19 contacted Alabama's Department of Human Resources and the Department of Education for comment. They have not yet responded. Emily, Jerry?